in today's video we are going to draw the foundation plan of this apartment which we did in our last video and if you did not watch that last video you can check it up on the link above but to begin it's important for us to be able to set the foundation story so we have our ground floor story we are just going to right click there move to story settings and um, insert a foundation story below so insert below we are going to type in foundation and because this building is a bungalow we are going to set the foundation height so negative we are just going to type in the height this way so we can type in the height as 0 0.8 and we just have to click ok and we have our foundation plan set out um it's very very important for us to understand some basic concepts before we ride on so we are going to trace the floor above so we can be able to see our distribution plan so go to above story so here is our distribution plan which is above so below we are going to trace it here which is going to show a distribution plan from our foundation plan above the first thing we are going to look at is how to place columns on our structure right so we are going to move to ground floor plan and we are going to place our columns here and how do we do that we are going to go to the column section on the design tab so click on columns and um, the section of the columns we want to use for this structure is 20 centimeters so we're going to type in 0 0.2 and we expect it to correct from here and uh, we are just going to click ok so the concept of placing columns in a bungalow is you place it at wall edges so for example this is my first wall edge so i'm going to place it here So I'm going to copy the column and I'm going to place it on other places. So drag multiple copies. So I'm going to copy it here. Place it this way. We just have to track the wall edges. So, so far I have placed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 columns and uh, I think I should place one this way. There should be no column here. A beam should be able to hold that place properly. So, I should place a column here. So, so, so far we have placed 1, 2, 3 columns, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I think these columns are actually okay and good to be able to realize this residential bungalow. Now we are just going to turn to 3D and see how much it has obstructed our architectural plan. So as you can see, it has eccentrated here a little bit and uh, that's not a big issue. Beside the walls, it's not showing so it hasn't distorted our architectural view. We are going to navigate to foundations and uh, which is on this story we are going to place uh we are going to connect our beams which is the second aspect so after placing our columns we have placed our columns on the on the first story we are going to place our beams to connect and what are the function of beams in a building the beams actually help us to be able to carry the walls so the beams will carry the walls and send to the column which you send down to the footing so that's actually the aspect that we are looking at here so you are going to select on beams the section of the beam we'll use here is 20 so we are going to use um on the thickness of the beam we want the thickness of the beam to be 0 0.20 that's 20 and on the height of the beam we want it to be 0 0.30 that's 30 so we are going to click ok so we are going to look at our column and uh, we are just going to draw from our axis of our column to the next axis so we are going to follow the axis of the column here we have an issue there is no axis so we have to trace the axis from this side trace and uh, have something here
and that is it so we are going to move to 3d and see what we have done so as you can see this is our ground beam direct direct placed directly beneath our walls so these beams are going to carry the walls we are going to extend our foundation pillars so we are going to move to ground story pillars we are going to click on columns control a and uh, we are going to right click copy the columns and uh, move down to foundation right click and paste the columns we are just going to click ok we are going to select the columns to see them properly and uh, move to edit come down to display order and bring the columns forward so we are just going to go to 3d and see what we have done so the beams are going to carry the walls and send them down to the pillars and the pillars are going to send them to the footing so the next thing we have to draw is a footing so to be able to do that the footings act like a slab so we are going to click on slabs and uh, we want to change all the slab to reinforce concrete so go to wall finish stones okay, okay concrete so we're going to all of them will be concrete so move to your floor area settings and uh, we want the footing size to be 0 0.25 for thickness so want to put the footing size to be 0 0.25 for thickness we're going to click ok and want to put the footing to be 80 centimeters by 80 centimeters so you're just going to move to the center of each column and uh, you're going to draw in 0 0.8 click tap on your keyboard and press in 0 0.8 and press enter i'm going to select the slab and place move it and place at the center of the column so you just have to place it at the center of the column so once it's at the center of the column you right click move select multiple copies select the center of the column and place it where any other column is so for example we have this place it here here so place it this way so we are just going to navigate to 3d and see what we have done so the walls are going to be carried by the beams so you see each wall is carried by a beam the load on the beam will be sent to the pillar which is this pillar which is going to send which will be sent down to the footings which are here are the footings so we have our foundation plan clearly drawn but to be able to say clearly this is a foundation plan it's important that we add our axis line to it and to do that we are going to we are going to move to documents and under documents we are going to use uh, grid element right so the grid element you are going to select the center of the pillar and you are going to drag it out to the first point let's say the first point is here we want the first point to be at three meters so you can just type in three meters where the first point will be we are going to draw the first axis so from here that's 11 <laughs> so from here it's 11.35 so <coughs> adding three meters to 11.35 should give you 14.35 all right so we have axis a we are going to do the same for the next one which is the beam here we we'll select the center we are going to move down by we are going to move down and just trace it from here so we want it to have the same line so we'll draw it right up to A here. So that's axis B. We have axis C, which is this one. So from here. So we're equally going to repeat the same thing for the X axis. So we are going to draw in here I'm going to look for three meters be far so we can just put like 1.5 meters in once here we are going to equally trace 1.5 meters so here is 10 18 let's just say we'll put it at 12 18 so this is not axis g so this is axis one and we are going to change the the numbering system 
so we are going to click on create and change the numbering system to one two three we want it to start at two because we have already placed one and uh, we'll just head on from there so we are going to have our axis one thing you want to note is that you are going to discover that some some axes they intersect each other and this is not looking good so one thing you want to do is to shift them a little bit so you can click here you're going to see a second point you can move it a little bit do the same with this other one you can move it a little bit so once you move it it moves on the other axis so let's see for the example this one you can move it a little bit here this one you can move it a little bit let's see here after you finish doing all of this, you have a foundation plan, but there is no denotation. So if somebody picks up this plan, he will not be able to know what is what. So it's important for us to denotate things like name the uh, name the beams, the pillars. So we are going to call the beams on that text. We are going to type it to be. Since it's ground beam, we are going to write it G B E. And we are going to type the section. The section is twenty by 30 then you can put it there cm centimeters so you can just hold it here drag a little bit it's going to extend so you can select the ground beams go to move drag multiple copies and you can just place it all along so just look for beams this is just to tell tell the person who is who is realizing that these are the section of the beams you don't necessarily need to put it everywhere so just put it on few of the beams so let's say you drag this one here we'll try to rotate it so you can do something like a little bit of rotate here and place the ground beam here right click Track multiple copies. Then equally for the footing size, you can create a legend outside. So let's say you put a text, just call it legend. Where you can write your descriptive notes. So under the legend, you can you can say okay you drag this so you can write all columns all columns ah uh, all columns you can just type the section there 20 centimeters by just put 20 by 20 then the units now you put it in centimeters you can extend it to look good then you can do the same for beams you drag a copy all beams You can put it 20 by 30 centimeters and then remember we have a foundation which is a footing so you can see all footings you can put it 80 centimeters by 80 centimeters and there we have it so you have all columns, all beams, and all footings, and uh, this is a basic foundation plan. And with that said, you can watch the next video, which is on conception of a G plus one building, which is linked to this video.